Hi friends, boost DC to DC voltage converters powered by low voltage are very often inserted into a variety of homemade devices. Of course, now the market offers us very good ready-made solutions, but it is much more pleasant and interesting when you do something yourself. The proposed converter can be used in the construction of self-made power banks, converters for a multimeter to power the LED strips from low voltage source and so on. Perhaps many are familiar with the microcircuit MC34063. This is a specialized chip on the basis of which it is possible to build quite good DC-DC voltage converters of any type, step up, step down or inverting. A simple step-up converter circuit on this chip will look like this. One of the advantages of the chip is that it already has a power transistor inside, so that the output current can reach up to 1.5 amperes. But for the sake of justice, it should be noted that already at a current of 1 ampere, the chip is very hot. The chip has a comparator and its own reference voltage, which makes it possible to organize feedback. In other words, to stabilize the output voltage at the desired level. The output voltage will depend on the ratio of the voltage divider resistors. On our website is an online calculator for calculating the output voltage of converters based on this chip. If you need it, you will find the link in the description under the video. The chip has many nuances, which we will talk about some other time. Well, today we will look at the circuit of the step-up converter. Just note, this converter is quite simple and will allow you to charge your smartphone from lithium batteries, but there is a disadvantage, a low efficiency. The fact is that, despite the work in pulse mode, with this ratio of input and output voltage, the converter efficiency is very small and is at best 60 to 65 percent, which is not good for a portable device. The peculiarity of this circuit is that we will amplify the output of the chip by an additional transistor. In our case, it is bipolar one. This will improve the output characteristics of the converter and will facilitate the operating mode of the chip. In other words, the circuit makes it possible to build a converter for higher power. The MC34063 starts working at an input voltage of 3 volts. That is, the circuit can be used as a step-up converter in a self-made power bank. Therefore, I installed a dual USB port on the board. A few words about the printed circuit board. Initially, I developed a board for another circuit with a field effect transistor, but it didn't justify my hopes. The circuit worked better with a bipolar transistor. The board came out very good. Not comparable with factory quality, but for home technology it's quite good. If you want your self-made products look like factory ones, then you can order a printed circuit board directly from the manufacturer. Our long-time partner GLC. Just go to the company's website, download the Gerber file, select the options of your board, pay and wait for the parcel. By the way, the cost of conventional board starts from $2 for 10 pieces. Who is interested in the process of the production of the GLC factory can watch my video on this topic. All links are in the description. Let's go ahead. We will not go deeper into the work of the DC-DC converter. I have repeatedly explained all this, but this microcircuit differs slightly from conventional PWM controllers. The chip generates a sequence of rectangular pulses, which come to the base of the switching transistor. It works and connecting the power source to the throttle. Therefore, the energy will accumulate in throttle. Then the transistor will close. The wave of the self-induction voltage from the throttle is rectified by the diode accumulates in the capacitor and from it already goes to the load. Resistive divider generates a certain voltage which comes to one of the inputs of the internal comparator of the chip. It is compared with the voltage of the reference source. Based on the voltage difference, the chip increases or decreases the pulse width and frequency. Yes, the frequency too. 
Since the chip simultaneously controls both modes, the pulse width modulation and the pulse frequency modulation, the principle is clearly visible on the oscilloscope screen. The greater load will cause the greater drop of the output voltage. The feedback system reacts to this and the chip increases the pulse duration and the switching frequency. As an output rectifier diode is suitable any Schottky diode with a current of 3 amperes. I use the dual diode assembly from the output rectifier of the computer power supply. The diodes are in parallel. The accumulating capacitors at the output are for a voltage of 10 to 16 volts. It's very desirable to use capacitors with low internal resistance. They can also be found in the computer power supply. The throttle is wound on a ring of iron powder. Once again I will repeat, not ferret, but a ring of iron powder. A ferret ring will not work. The size of my ring is now in front of you. The winding contains only 6 turns of 1.2 mm wire. It is possible to use from 1 mm. With this throttle, the maximum self-induced EMF reached up to 20 volts. So, rotating the trimmer on the board, you can adjust the output voltage in a fairly wide range. I put the transistor TIP41 as the most affordable option. The collector current is only 6 amperes. If possible, put a transistor with a collector current of 10 amperes or more. But even with this not very powerful transistor, it is possible to obtain currents of about 2 amperes at the converter output. Naturally, the transistor is heated, so the transistor and the diode are installed on a common radiator. Don't forget to isolate the substrates of these components from the radiator with heat conducting gaskets. The current shunt can be excluded from the circuit if protection isn't needed. One of the merits of the circuit is a low, no load current, less than 10 mA. The mesh and 2 amperes are the limit for such a circuit. You can pump more. But I don't see the point in this because of the small conversion efficiency. This video came to an end. Archive with the circuit and PCB. Links to purchase the necessary components and links to the finished converters of this kind can be found in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our groups at Social Nets where you can ask questions related to electronics and share photos of your projects. On this, I say goodbye. Until new meetings, with you as always, it was Cassian TV.